Spencer's missing. What? Yeah. Well, maybe his driver hit traffic on the way home from school. No, he never made it to school. The head office just called to ask if Spencer was all right because he wasn't in class. I, I have no idea where my son is. You know, Cameron did something like this not that long ago. He was upset about Emma, and he made it all the way to Kelly's. I'm sure you made perfectly calm. Oh, kidding, I was a basket case. Luckily, Rick found him, and everything was OK. Ross was supposed to take him directly to school. And if, if, if something happened, they didn't make it, if something happened to the car, why didn't Ross contact me right away? I'm telling you, this is more than just a, a boys will be boys thing. There's something else going on. I know how persuasive Spencer can be, but he doesn't sign your checks. I do. Are we clear on that, Ross? No, no, stay there. I'll come get him. Where was he? At the quarter mains. What? Well, you know I'm going over there right now to, for AG service. Okay. Can I drive you? Okay, but is Ross going to stick around to take me home, or are you going to fire him? One thing at a time. What was Mr. doing at the quarter mains? I don't know. I, I imagine it has something to do with Luke. He says that he heard Luke plotting against Sonny. I don't know. Luke plotting against Sonny? Yeah. That's unlikely. That's all right. Bizarre. But you know, Spencer, once he gets something in his head, he won't let it go. Exhibit A, chupacabra. Well, it was sort of a chupacabra, kind of. What, what are you saying? That Luke really is out to get Sonny? I'm just saying. Look, all you gotta do, it, it, just tell me what it is. Uncle Sonny will take care Spencer of it. Spencer Cassidine. Is that you? Hi, Dad. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in school. We weren't learning anything important, so... So, I hope it was worth it, because you're in big trouble. Let's go. Not until I have to say, I have to say it to my uncle son. Okay, listen, listen, this is your father. You go ahead and go with your father. I got. I still got to find my son. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about this later, okay? Luke, I'm sorry about my son's crazy ideas about you and Sonny. That's no problem. Spencer and I had a good long chat about that. And I think we came to an agreement. He knows now that stories are for books, and there are consequences in real life when you tell tales about people. Right, Spencer? Well, Spencer, time to go. Hope everything works out okay for you and little Emma. I hope it's all gonna be good for both of you, Spencer. I need to have a word with you. I didn't expect to be here. I know it's hard for you, you know? It's hard for my, my son, but... Uh... Yeah, AJ died too soon. Amen. Fortunately, the police have his murder in custody. And if this guy has a shred of decency, he'll confess. So Monica and Michael can pick up the pieces as soon as this Carlos guy starts answering all the questions around AJ's death. <laughs> 